The relationship between AI and open source is a pretty strong one. Um, in particular, I believe that the recent advancements in AI have been, in large, for a large amount, actually been um, done thanks to the fact that AI tools uh, have been mostly open source and the availability of open source AI tools made it so that the pace of progress has increased a lot thanks to them. Um, I also believe that um, because of the AI community has this um, long history in research, has been publishing papers on these uh, open archives um, that fostered the um, connection with the open source community. And so now it's pretty rare to see a new paper in AI that doesn't come with the open source code accompanying it. Uh, so on one hand you have the um, open source code for your papers and on the other hand you have um, open source tools, robust open source tools released also by uh, big companies and the combination of the two is what's making the most progress in AI, I believe. I think the future of open source is headed in a really positive direction. We have a lot of movers and shakers in the technology industry that are really trying to push for a communal development of stuff in order to democratize whatever product that you're building. When everyone has a say in how the project is developed, planned, and you know, um, pivoted to scale people's needs, you're really addressing people's empathy towards the project and you want people to understand that you're building software to help others, not just to make a name for yourself. And I think open source is really good at highlighting those sorts of contributions. Okay. Uh, one of the challenges with getting into open source is actually having to think about as you design the software, being able to handle many different use cases. Uh, it does end up uh, causing you to actually end up with a better design, but it, it is additional overhead you have to take uh, in the beginning when you're coming up with your project to make sure that it can be generally applicable. So I think there are really two key points why open source is important for the career. One is that I really want to be super product driven you know, we are software engineers, but we also want to be problem solvers. Once we put the open source project in a community, we really know what the community really needs, and therefore we get the real-time feedback of what's the important problem to be solving for us. I think uh, because I'm doing this open source project on behalf of the company, that really pushes myself to hold myself to a higher standard of quality, and that is a key factor for um, helping myself to develop as a software engineer. So as a junior developer, you always kind of feel like you're not good enough, or you don't know enough, uh, or you're not bringing enough value for your team. And actually open source is one of the ways you can not only develop your per personal technical skills because you're getting familiar with a technological stack that's outside your comfort zone, outside your day-to-day -day work, and moreover, you are contributing to a real project with a lot of other people, and you will receive feedback, constructive, continuous feedback for your coding skills, your overall performance as a developer, and that's what will develop you. So at Uber, we believe that corporate contribution to the open source community is very important to the project's sustainability. And one of the things we have been trying to do is to make sure that we engage and support the local community where all our engineer offices are. And this is the first step for us to support our engineer office in Sofia. And hopefully, we can engage with the local community, try to get feedback, and see how we can support the local community to build a better open source community around where Sofia office is, and then ensure there's a sustainability either in the open source community or for Uber in Sofia.